packet will be approved if you can show it's more likely than not, or just a little bit more than 50%, uh, that that is, uh, that you've established this person as a manager. Only a little more than 50% should be an approval for those cases. I sometimes wonder if they actually follow this, but that's the, uh, that is the standard. Totality of the circumstances test is applicable. So they should look at all the factors involved with your petition that's been filed. Um, so they also try to explain what is a specialized knowledge or advanced knowledge threshold. They confirm that specialized knowledge does not have to be proprietary to the sponsoring organization. And I think that on Indeed to mention yesterday, some of these are actually not the cases we find in practice, but that's what they have said here. Um, confirms that L1B workers placed at third party locations is permitted under certain conditions. Um, that specialized knowledge need not be narrowly held by a certain small group or individual and confirms that the L1B workers do not need to be elevated employees or command a high salary. But all of these things are helpful, as a matter of fact, if they, in fact, are part of a narrow group and receive a high salary and so on, you'll find that your L1B visas are more likely to be approved. So when you're answering or when you're trying to prepare the petition or answering an RFE, under a specialized knowledge or advanced knowledge L1B case, uh, you, you're advised to show how that knowledge was developed, okay? How the individual acquired specialized knowledge. You should break it down to show there is training that the person may have received and provide the training materials, uh, that there was experience in the company and how the experience developed, and also advancement. So if that person came in as a senior engineer and was functioning on day one, immigration will say, well, uh, apparently they didn't need specialized knowledge when they came into the company because they started on day one as a senior engineer and were functioning in the job description that you just gave. So how did that happen? Why did, it, why did they need to be so special? Why is this knowledge so special if they started on day one functioning, right? So you wanna show how that person developed in their career to the point where then they could function in the specialized knowledge position. Some, somehow they entered into the role and then developed into this knowledge that they have obtained, okay? So the knowledge should have been gained with the petitioning entity, right? The company that's related to the US company outside. Um, 